Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to model this um, adaptive uh, chain family. So you will be able to just adjust the point so it will follow the point. And you can make it longer. And also you can change the size of the, uh, the each one so for example make it smaller make it bigger okay so let's start so first create a generic model adaptive and I'm uh, just place one point another point Okay, so and then make adaptive spline reference line. So then another point, po another two points draw on face and one, two. So I'm going to show you the um, what I'm going to do, to do. Okay, so so here this will be one segment of that chain, so it will be a uh, something like this so this will be the internal face of this chain right and uh, um, so the uh, this will be the the path of the sweep and then I'm just going to do a so from this point do a half circle from this point, half circle. Okay, so half circle, half circle, and a straight line. So that's it. So let's do it. So now we have these two points. So uh, we need more. So point, uh, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the horizontal work plan, and place it on the point. You should see this warning. And okay. And place on this point, drag it down. And place another point, set, and pick the horizontal work plane again, and place it on this point. And OK. This time, drag it up. So let's repeat. Draw on work plan, set work plan, tab, and place it on the point. Drag it down, and another one. Um, and this time, it goes up. So now we need um, create this parameter. So from here to here. So from this point to this point. So it's actually a radius. So see. So it's a radius. I'll call it R1. Yeah. So let's uh, I'll create a radius R instance. OK and OK. Same this one, I'll just use this R and this one because it's a negative one, so I'm going to create another one. So let's call it R negative instance, OK and OK. So this one I'll link to the R negative. Go back to family types, R negative equals negative R. Apply, OK. So um, now uh, the next next step let's go have a look at this one so because we want this internal thing so so uh, uh, actually let, let me just do the uh, profile of the, this radius a little circle here on this path so go I'll just do the finish the path first sorry so select these two points spy reference line so these two points spy reference line and also for this arc so I'll draw a arc, so half circle for, uh, using this point. Okay, so reference, so uh, this one, center and arc, and draw, draw a work plan, set work plan, pick the pick the vertical work plan. So tab, tab, so this one, and then click here, here, drag it down to here. So that's it. So you don't need to lock. I don't think you need 
Yeah. So click on this little icon here, and then this is a radius. Um, radius. So it's same as this offset. The offset, offset of this point. So I can actually just link to this, right? So R. Uh, so repeat this, 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 uh, this end, and just center ends arc. Draw our plan. Set our plan. Tab, tab. Pick this work work plan and place it from here to here. Then radius again. Then link this to radius R. So now I need to move this point. Okay. So so um. Oh, before I set this point, the location of this point. I'm going to do this this circle so we can get the this radius. Okay, so I'll just place one point, uh, draw our face and anywhere on this reference line, and then do a reference circle, draw our plan, set our plan, and pick this vertical work plan and then draw a circle on it. And click on this uh, icon and then create uh, another radius. I'll call it R2 or little r. Okay, instance. Okay, <coughs> so now I'll just roughly uh, change it to make it smaller. Um, so now if I have a look at this one, so because this one is r. And I, if if I want this uh, this sway uh, the internal phase to match this point, so I need this one. This one will be uh, r minus this bit. This bit is actually this radius, the small r. Okay, so go back to Revit. So click on this point. So here change the measurement type to segment length and then uh, here I'll create a new parameter so here I'm going to call it offset OF instance OK and OK so now if I go to family type OF equals capital R minus lowercase r apply OK so now if I so if I create this sweep, so you will see this phase, this will go right uh, through this point. Okay, so now I'll just same this one, change change this to a uh, segment length, and uh, for this one actually I need to change this to end, and then I can link this to uh, offset. Okay, so now if I select this one. The profile and the path one two three four create form so this will be the sweep okay so now we need to somehow um so because this is uh compared to the radius the, the this radius the little the lowercase radius a little bit too small right so let's go to family type so uh, the small lowercase r let's try maybe r divided by two r oh, sorry yeah capital r divided by two so apply um this looks like too small when you have another one or maybe what we can do is divide by two um point two yep that i think that's probably better even 2.4 maybe yeah I'll, I'll say 2.3 okay so now uh, another thing is the the length so um, what we can do is we uh, set work plan pick this reference line and then di pick this uh, adaptive point and also this one make sure you pick this point okay so this will be the length of the um, 
the, um, the, the, the length between these two uh, adaptive points so we can create a reporting parameter. I'll call it length L instance reporting. Okay. So now what we uh, need to do is to, um, to give this uh, capital R a formula. So let me try R equal L divided by 3. Apply. Um, I think that's, that's okay. So yeah, let's, let me try divide by 2. Uh, that's probably too fat. <laughs> May uh, 2.5. Yeah, that looks uh, okay. Maybe 2.7. Okay, so I think three is okay. Yeah, okay. I'll just use three. So okay. So now this is finished. And uh, also because we. We want to rotate this sweep when we create that chain. So what we can, let me just try. So select this point and I'll see if I can rotate it 90 degrees. Nope. Um, negative 90. Yes. Let me try this one. Negative 90. So yeah. So uh, now I know that uh, I can use negative 90 so I'll select these two points and then here I'm going to create a, a ang angle parameter I'll call it A instance okay and okay so now this is finished so now what we need is we need to create another generic model adaptive and uh, um, I'll just create I'll just put uh, so I'll, I'll just put three points so you can place uh, as many as you like so but uh, I think three is okay for me and then create the spline and reference line okay and uh, select this uh, reference line click on divide path and here so instead of fixed number I'll change it to change it to to um, change it to fixed distance so and also you can actually create um, let me just uh, cre create a parameter so this will be the um, I'll say um, the, the length of each segment okay so oops sorry did I, what did I click create I'll call it uh, segment layer and uh, instance okay and okay so now I'll actually change this to maybe 200 okay oh that's a little bit too much maybe. I'll change it to 400 or oh, I'll, I'll just use 200 and I'll just uh, move the point to close to each other so the uh, yeah so it will be less 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 um, segments so now go back to this one and load this into here so don't worry about this the, the size because when you place it so make sure so you, you start from one direction okay so you don't don't you don't don't do it like uh, uh, this way and that way so 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 to do it from the maybe from this one to here and then from this point to here so now select the second one so we know that uh, we can oh that's nine minute um, negative large that's okay I'll change it to zero so now so we got two of them so and then select select both both of them and then click on this repeat now we have this chain and if I move this so you can see it instantly um, adjust the each segment right and also um, if 
because we have that uh, uh, parameter there. So this one, for example, if I change to 100, it will become a smaller chain. Yeah, and if, if I change it to 300, it become a big one. 500. Okay, so now let's have a look. Um, I'll close this one and uh, I'll create a project so we can have a test. So I'll just create two wall here and then I'll load this into the project. So go to 3D view. I'll create a chain between these two wall. Okay, so one. Uh, maybe let me go down to the floor and then yeah so okay let's, and then we also have this one segment well, let's make it smaller smaller yeah so that's it um, yeah um, I hope you like it and if you have any, any question please let me know um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.